I think we should punish Dad. We should just swing his microphone over to Uriel. Yeah, and yeah, I'll, I'll do that. That's fine. <laughs> or do we do that? Do you just want to like switch wholesale? Ooh, I, I, I got bass with this one. Yes, you do. I'm all about that bass, 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 bass. You learn so much. Anyways, not to trust anybody over 35. Perfect. I have taught you. That's all you need to learn in life. Jacob. Don't change a thing except maybe talk into the microphone next time. (laughs) Hello, everybody, and welcome to this very overstuffed episode of the CamCast. Yes. Bursting at the seams. Quite literally. It's a group. We have, as I think this might be the second most people that we've had, aside from that one time that Chirp showed up and we all piled into the office. Oh, that was was Yeah, that was tight. That was insane. There there were six on that, wasn't there? Maybe. I, I think know. there were six because Joey was there too, wasn't he? Yeah, jo- Maybe. No, Joey was when I was Joey there. Joey wasn't. Joey was no, Joey wasn't. Chirp. You were there. Oh, Trent, was yeah, there. you two were sharing. Yeah, but so, Gavin was there. It yeah. was me, Chirp, Josh, Martin, you, Gavin, Mike, and were you there? No, I wasn't no, there when Josh there. was there. No, so there no. were at least five. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Okay. Well, regardless, yeah, it is a cluster. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't remember who was there the last time we had this many people. It is the shadowy billionaire himself, Trent Hello. Ray. Oh, hoy, hoy. Yes. <laughs> I used to use that call sign when I was on the Daily Dairy podcast. That's just weird. Oh, the best way to answer weird. a phone. <laughs> ahoy, ahoy. Uh, ahoy, ahoy. Uh, also a great way to start off a podcast if you have the correct accent for it. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> See, I do not. None of us do. No. No. He doesn't have the correct accent. It is professor of the ghetto arts, Uncle Radical himself, yeah. Dave uh, Raleigh. Yes. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Mm, still not hitting it. No. Damn it. Close. No. <laughs> Sorry, too much phlegm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the... Uh, hey, hey. Wow. All right. Now we're getting... It's like German. All Jeez. right, we're getting a little... Pre- we're not yelling. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, German does sound angry all the time. Oh, it's angry all the time. Because? <laughs> because he's, he's never here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's out living his own life. Oh. It is Pizza Weekend to have. Hey, good to see you guys. <laughs> Miss you guys. Yeah. It's, been a, it's, been a, it's been a minute. Yes, it has been. And two months. Yep. You know, something like that. But stuff has happened and things and life and whatnot and... You know, whatever. But yeah, I'm back. I missed you guys. Hey, I have kids too, more than you, and I'm still here. Well, (laughs) you also live way closer. He's He's like picking them up. Like, he doesn't even have to make them. Yeah, I know. He just starts collecting Yeah, that's true. You're you're (laughs) doing it the legit way. (laughs) Yeah. Anyways. And then we are joined by three guests, the Ah. the second most guests we've technically ever had. I mean, the scoundrels count, but I was up there at their shop drinking beers at 11 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Wow. Because we're classy like that. There is no wrong time to it's, drink a beer on a Sunday. Five o'clock somewhere. Not with you, Not when you're with stepdad like that. <laughs> did he bring out the Thor's hammer? No, he did not. Oh. It just got a little weird. Oh. Anyway, uh, we are joined by Jacob, Dwayne, and Uriel <coughs> from Garage Kyusha, the local Japanese classic concern. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. And they are here because... Well, one, because Josh said we probably need to have them over. You know. I and mean, also, it, it takes Josh Martin to say, hey, you should probably have these guys. Yeah. Over. Yeah. And then also because this weekend, on Sunday specifically, is the Garage Kyusha Spring Matsuri. Ooh. So, yes. yes, it is. Yes. It's happening. Exciting. Yes. Second annual, even better than last year. Hooray. Perfect. Yeah, man. Second year in, but uh, it's going to be amazing. We have a lot of people coming in. About 116 cars registered Holy for the show. Cow. Wow. Wow. Is, I will embed almost all of the Japanese classic cars that are in Utah. Nice. So sure almost all. <laughs> almost Literally. All. Yeah. There's, nice. there's probably a lot of broken down ones out there. Oh, oh yeah. there's got to be. But yeah, man. All the running. Yeah. Cars. Yes. Yeah, all the running. That's the. Well, that's the almost key. Almost all the running cars. I'm pretty sure someone's you know. going to show right. up. I, <laughs> I would have had my curl there, but I woke up like three hours after the cutoff. Uh, yeah. Did you see we extended it? I did uh, see you extended yeah, this is it. I woke up three hours after the extension. <laughs> so he went back to sleep I was after even, you saw yeah. you extended it. I was even I asking. It. I was like, oh, you know what? I, I should I should probably register. Yeah. Hey, this this looks like a really nice place to nap. Well, yeah. hey, you know what, though? We do have day of registration. So Come, Maybe I'll go. throw it on a trailer. Yeah, I'm excited trailer. about Don't this. It. Don't nap through that one. Don't no. <laughs> yeah. hey, He's not going to show up and say that. Oh, no. I nap through that too, man. Guy, that would be, sorry. I totally slept in. That would be insane if he managed to sleep through the entire meet, because that is this Sunday. It is Sunday morning in beer. I don't know. I mean, there's no wrong time to drink a beer on a Sunday. <laughs> there you go. As we, so we've heard. As has been demonstrated. <laughs> yeah. But, yes, that is this Sunday, this the Sunday. 20th. Yep. yep. 
May 20th, uh, we're going to start rolling in around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, people can start showing up and uh, start parking. We'll have, we will have designated parking areas because we like to keep it nice and organized. So we'll have, you know, by making, well, by just make. Right. And uh, cool. so rolling starts at 10. And uh show will start at 11 and go till about 4 o'clock. Probably a little mm-hmm. longer than that just because it's, I guess it's pretty fun. So, so where's the where's the venue? Where's it going to be at this so year? Do you guys have the address right off the top of your head? Um, it's, uh, it's about 27th West, 51st yeah. South in Taylorsville. Okay. The yeah, yeah. main park in Taylorsville. Yeah, it's very, very cool. low friendly. Yeah, very low very friendly. Very nice. Yeah, and it's very a nice. soft, it's a softball comp- complex. So there's cool. not a lot of like yeah. a lot of park for a right. lot of other people coming by. So it'll be pretty much exclusive to us. So right. Tons of parking, nice. plenty for us, plenty for spectators. Yep. Nice. nice. We'll have a, a lot of, well, a few things going on. We'll have, uh. Also tacos. Yeah, you yay. can't go wrong with tacos. No, right? sold. So. Yeah. You had me at tacos. There you go. <laughs> well, you already had me at vintage Japanese cars, but yes, just to add. Yeah, <laughs> yep. there we go. So there'll be a um, Hot Wheels track Ooh. for little kids. Awesome. I know a lot of people like that, and the big kids. Yeah, well, you know. And a uh, big yeah. thing, uh, Lamley Group is coming. If you're a Hot Wheels collector, Ooh. that's the guy. You know, he's the so guy. He's nice. bringing bring a lot of really cool stuff. Very cool. So Our local celebrities, JDM Legends, might yeah, make an appearance. JDM oh, yeah. Legends will be there. That'd be nice. Um, Seals, yeah, yeah. Seals rest, restoring a dream. Um, Mauricio is coming down. Cool. He'll be there for a little bit. Nice. So just a lot of a lot of good talent also from you know from the JDM culture. Nice. So, very cool. Yeah, we're excited. Very, nice. very cool. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Of course. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. No problem at all. In the dungeon basement. <laughs> You're all like thinking I'm I'm gonna get murdered down here tonight. Yeah, that's that's, that's it's um, real. The thought well, did cross know. my mind, but luckily I know <laughs> I know you guys, so I, I feel that's I feel a little true. safe. Okay, that's much better cool. lighting than I expected. You know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, listen, we try to keep it, you know, as not creepy as possible. <laughs> Well, that's why we have artwork up on the walls, you which know. Is, which the is cre- why you asked me not to be here for the last two months. No, I'm just kidding. No, Christmas tree is a nice touch. It's Uncle yeah. Creeper. Yeah, the Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll get it lit up when it comes to be a bit more appropriate. You know, we call it the Festivus tree, though, really, because yeah. it, we celebrate Festivus all year round. It's Festivus for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. We broke the pole, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> but we air our grievances every Actually, episode. Yeah, huh? Yep, it's <laughs> <laughs> really yeah. what we do. Yeah, we do. Anyways, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, so alrighty, uh, we have some news and stuff to get to, but first. We need to thank our sponsor, Indeed. Steady Broke Clothing. Yes, we do. Go to uh, SteadyBroke.com. Mm-hmm. You can uh, shop. Go get a whole bunch of the, uh, what is it, T-shirts. We've got hats, hats, sweatshirts. Tanks, because uh, it's summer. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Sun's out, gun's out. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So good. Got Tommy and Megan have been busting their humps, getting yeah. some high-quality stuff. Um, get you, uh, what is it, the Depresso T-shirt? Yeah, the Depresso T-shirt. That yeah. is my favorite. Yeah. So definitely get that. Check out. Type in, uh, what is it, Cam Auto 15? Cam Auto 15. Perfect. You get 15% off your whole order. Yep. There nice. we go. And I was just down there this last weekend, uh, stayed with Tommy and Megan. They've got a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm excited you were, about nice. it. You were getting stuff impounded. Yes. Yeah. We'll, you, we'll talk about that. You got tickets and impounding and whatnot. Yeah. And Michael's uh, wearing his broke AF shirt right now. It's my Monday shirt now. Mm. Dear yeah, Leader. I'm recording on Mondays instead of Tuesdays. Dear Leader's rockin' style right across the table from me. I love it. It's looking so good. good I stuff. try. I yep. try. Well, once you're done stuffing your face with ramen and ordering stuff off of Steady Broke, you need to step on over to uh, camautomag.myshopify.com. Mm-hmm. I know it's difficult for you to say I'm that. I'm never going to remember that. But no, you won't. <laughs> yeah. But thankfully, there is now a button on our Facebook page oh, that will yes. send you right there. Even better. Simplicity is best. So stop complaining, damn it. Just do it for me. <laughs> that's, so you that's can get what t-shirts. the internet wants. Just hand, hand me your credit card. I'll Done. take care of it for you. <laughs> Every episode. I'll get you a shirt with your face on it. Uh, no, that needs to be Perfect. taken down. But no. anyways, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> anyways. Everybody You're, go buy a t-shirt with Brandon's face on it. No. Yeah. No, uh, you could buy one of mine or yeah. Gavin's, yeah, or even Mike's. Or the day yes. later, we need to get the shadowy I, billionaire. I on actually there. reduced the price on those face shirts. I actually fell asleep after I did yours. So <laughs> oh. right now, your shirt's like seven dollars cheaper than everyone else's. But <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about so right. I'll, I'll right. get it taken care right. of. But everybody all else's yeah. face the more shirts. reason wow. yeah. to get a Pizza Dead T-shirt. Yeah, yes. it's Man. the cheapest and ugliest and worst. <laughs> and we're working on a few different designs. We're going to have like a Mount Cam Moore T-shirt with yeah. all of us. Yeah, you just I've pulled that a... picture off of Facebook, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. I, without your horrible. permission. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, beautiful. That's what scares yeah. me the, mo- the worst. Well, and now that there's been a drift event that happened, I've got some good photos so I can finally get cracking on that empty or outbox shirt. Yes, uh, perfect. Yes. Send it. Awesome. Send. So we've got good things coming down the wire as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead and get those. Get some sweatshirts. We've got cell phone covers. we got Thank a tank. You. Yeah, exactly. we got the bro tank. Perfect. Yes. 
Sweet. And you're you're rocking a cell phone cover now. I'm rocking a oh, cell yes, phone yes. cover now because Dave of is. you. So, oh, that's it. very nice. Oh, oh, oh yeah, let's oh, yeah. Yeah. Check us out. Pull show it, it off. Out. Whip it out. He's pull- oh. <laughs> the, the cover. Ooh, oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, nice. buddy. <laughs> clean, Anywho, so camautomag.myshopify.com. Go ahead and follow the link on our Facebook page. Oh, you took a picture. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I don't even wow. know I did that. How about that? Type. Yeah. It's all awesome. good. <laughs> Anywho, I'll, I'll look at it later. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably of my crotch, but oh, enjoy boy. that. Nobody. I'm sure he will. Very few people do. Everyone does. <laughs> no. They always tell me they do. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. No one tells me that. Not yeah. even my wife. Anyway, so. <laughs> anyway. Now that, now that we're going off the rails. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza let's, try to, let's try to ring this thing, reel this thing back in. So, real quick, let's go over some racing that happened over the weekend. Okay. Do you guys, what racing series do you guys, what is Garage Kyusha? What racing series do you guys follow and like? They have one for parking lots? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's autocross. called Cross. Uh, ACCA Autocross. It's Autocross. Oh, you're, uh-huh. you're in with that. that. That's, my, that's my club. That yeah, is there right is. into that one. <laughs> yeah, that was right in there. Um, I, I still, believe it or not, I still follow Formula Drift. So I oh, yeah, 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 this yeah, weekend. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty intense this weekend. These are your Atlanta people. Not, it was yeah. good. I liked it. It was, yeah. it was a mm-hmm. good show. Yeah. Awesome. Did not disappoint. We had the first round of Pro 2, which... Yeah, I watched a little bit of that Pro 2. Pro 2 was entertaining. It's... Uh, it's far better than it's been in years past. Yeah, exactly. Where it was just no, it was trash. Yeah. Well, those, no. are the, those are the dudes that are almost there. Yeah, these are the dudes who are basically okay. doing a half season. Right. Before, and they have to, you know, yeah, earn finish, it. I think, first or eighth or something like that. Oh, and then cool. they get a pro one license. Yeah. Ah, so yeah. it's like the Premier League of, of drifting, basically. So yes. It's the yeah. broke people drifting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> so if I was a drifter, <laughs> that's where I'd be. Far from broke, though. Yeah. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, your <laughs> There's po- big budgets. Yep. So Triple nice. A baseball. Yeah, exactly. So your podium for Pro 2, the first round of it, was Ola Jaeger uh-huh. and a JZA 80 Supra, of all things. Oh. Yes. He had big, radical big booty girl swinging. Yeah, he yeah. had a radical Daniel spotting for him. Is that your? Is that your vintage of no? Supra? Mine was a seventy. No, see, I don't. Mine know was an M seventy yeah, to sorry, be specific. I'm sorry, because I did not have the cool. Sorry, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, then we had Dylan Hughes, who had just a super clean, just like dark gray V eight powered S thirteen coupe uh-huh. that was just super clean looking with LS. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Pretty much. Of course, everything's LS. LS, yeah. Yeah. LS, the world. LS, the world. Yep. And then we had Travis Reeder, the guy who almost won last year, uh, if not for mathematics. <laughs> Dang that math magics. <laughs> math, not even once. It's magic. Exactly. <laughs> it's math magics. He Say round, it right. He rounded out the podium. And then in Pro 1, we had Kristaps Blues in the Eurofighter E92, that carbon Kevlar wide body. Ooh. That thing crazy is thing. That, thing that is, crazy. Crazy. It is it's mean. Ridiculous car. Off. Screamer. Yeah, that thing is oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, he was atop the podium, followed by Frederick Osbo in oh, yeah. the hatchback. Ah. The, yep. the thing. The yeah. little, little Corolla Osbo? hatchback. That is just, I mean. It's the wrong Corolla in it Formula is. D. It is the wrong Corolla. It really <laughs> is. it really? <laughs> it's the wrong Corolla for so many reasons, yeah, the least is. of which being front-wheel drive based. Oh. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And then rounding it out was uh, Chris Forsberg, America's second favorite drifting ginger behind Brandon Wicknick. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I thought the second favorite was Odie Backus. He's always wearing the hat, though. You know, we should have him settle but so it. so was Wicknick. Settle it with a leg rustle. That's how we do there it. There we go. Top All three. Right. Top leg, three. We'll there we go. cut it at top three. All right, there guys. And what does he drive? Uh, let's see. Chris Forsberg is in a twin-turbo uh, VQ 37-powered 370Z, which oh, is different than his my car last year, yeah. which had anti-lag and a whole bunch of really cool trick stuff that never actually worked right. <laughs> classic. Which actually caused it to blow up. Ah, oh, fun fact. Also Several classic. times. Oh, sounds More than once. Yeah. What did he switch from the, VQ, the, from the VK? Was uh, it the VK? Two years ago? Uh, they were so he bought all of the like excess race parts from a trophy truck team that were running VKs, right. and then he was running out of parts. And so uh, nobody like the v, <laughs> nobody makes stuff for the VK fifty six. No. So mm. he was running out of stuff. So so yeah. VQ it is. Yep, terrible Get that French motor in there. Exactly. Brrr. Sounds Just, like Chewbacca taking. I love it. I love yep. it. Though. I love it. I'm such a VQ homer. Yes, you are. Brrr. We know. We know. Brrr. Just anyways, angry trombones everywhere. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so smashing through the hood, Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it is the month of May, which means at the end of the month we are going to witness the greatest spectacle in motorsports, the Indianapolis 500 mile race. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, however much I want, is palpable. Oh, <laughs> however much I want to watch the Monaco parade. Bingo! That's what I'll be watching. Uh, of yeah. course you will. Yes. Anyway, so before that, we had the 
uh, Indy Grand Prix, uh-huh. so they can make use of the road circuit at uh, Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Will Power, still the greatest name in all of motorsport. It is, really, and would be a great porno name, too. Anyways, keep going. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, he won the race. He held off rookie Robert Wickens most of the race, and Uh-oh. then a late-charging Scott Dixon. Uh-oh. Yeah. He always puts his nose there. You yeah, know? Dixon's been around forever, he so he knows it. what's going on. He but uh, Yeah, so Will Power took the first win in the month of May. But Rossi didn't, he wasn't a competitor this uh, time, huh? Yeah, he was kind of back there. Yeah, I watched the first round, and it was uh, mm-hmm. that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. But anyways. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And then we finally come to... Ah, the greatest racing series ever known to man ever that has ever been... Snore Boring. Which, the yeah. N24. Oh, no. no. I didn't even try to watch no, that. No, that's... <laughs> God <nah>. in heaven. <laughs> Nah, was that the Australian one? No, no, the no Nurburgring. Oh, the Nurburgring. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's in Australia. No, I'm just kidding. exactly. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Exactly. I know where that is. Exactly, Dad. What are you smelling right I now? Know. Yeah, death. Anyways, okay. um, uh, no Formula One. I'm assuming is where you're going with this. Yes, that's where yes. I'm going with this. See, I'm a huge Formula One gomer. I love F1. I've followed it for the last eh, 10, 15 years, something like that. Anyways. This uh, this last race was super boring, though. It was yes. a snooze fest. It was. Yes, it was. Barcelona. You have to say it with the lisp. Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona. I'm from Barcelona, Spain. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, it, uh, it was super boring. So it was Mercedes dominated qualifying. They actually kind of sandbagged during practicing. Yeah. Or practice. Um, so whatever. And then Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas just took it. Hamilton got the pole, led the whole race. Ferrari did what Ferrari does. Uh, Kimi broke. Um, and then they had a really bad pit stop with Sebastian Vettel, mm-hmm. and they said it was maybe because Perez was coming in. But if you watch the replay, nope, that that back right wheel of gunmen took way too long. So <laughs> super boring. For, uh, Mercedes won two with um, the crash master Verstappen in third. The little uh, what twelve year old Dutchman? If you haven't followed Formula One, he's, oh, he's, he's like irritating to watch. Yeah, he is young, and he just <laughs> he just he sends it every corner on every lap yes. as if it's the last. But he kind of learned this lesson this time, and at least made it to the end of the race. So <laughs> I like him, but I think he's got a lot of growing up a to lot do. To learn, yes. yeah, absolutely, yeah, maturing. <clears throat> he needs there to mature. Go. That's yeah. A good word. I'm sad no. I wasn't here for the Baku conversation because that was an amazing race. That, was. that, that was. was the greatest race I have ever seen since ever in the world that has been. Yep. Well, and it was amazing. It was I haven't a, been it, following this year. I oh, it's got a good rid year. Of my cable. Oh, it's Aww. a good year. It's a good year because we've actually seen Ferrari Vettel won twice, uh, Danny Ricardo won once, mm-hmm. and now Hamilton just won his first race for the season. So it's like there's a lot more parody going good. on there. Didn't, uh, didn't Hamilton win the last race too? No. No? No, that was Daniel Ricciardo who won that one. In no. Baku? In yeah. Baku. Oh, did he nope. win Baku? Yeah. Hamilton won Baku. Did yeah, he? the Red Bulls crashed each other. Oh, oh that's yes. right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm thinking I last year. I did see the highlights for that <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> sorry, having a stroke again. So it's if okay. you see my left face, like, <laughs> droop, just call 911. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. The, yeah. The but, fr- that but they only won that because Valtteri Bottas got a flat tire on the right. last lap. Yeah. That was So sad. Real oh. gutting. Yeah, he wasn't very happy about it. Like, Hamilton wasn't really, like, happy about accepting it because he just felt gutted for his teammate, which is pretty cool to see. I, I'm a Hamilton fan, which is weird because I'm a Ferrari that's, fan to yeah, the death. I'm like a Tifosi, and they're like, never cheer for Hamilton. But I was like, no, he's good. Yeah. But, you know, cheer so anyways, you like. So Barcelona. There, there was there was an interesting first lap, at least, on, on this last race. Yeah, Barcelona. Yeah, Vettel, yeah. Vettel pipped Botas and took second. But, man, the Mercedes just had all the pace. They, yeah. Like, Hamilton yeah. pulled a seven-second lead within four laps. It's just insane. Yeah. And, and Romain Grosjean just oh, shooting my smoke gosh. out the rest of the yeah. field. That dude <laughs> needs to be done with F1. I think he realized he's done, too. If you saw after he freaking did a freaking smoky burnout and wrecked out two other cars, he just sat on the, the stairs with his head in his hands. Probably realizing, holy Moses, look at the size of that thing. Dave's ready to party. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, we got those for Dave's birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Yes, you did. Man, I'm a horrible dad. You missed a lot. I Thanks, did. Dad. I'm sorry. I did was looking he... at Porsches in Los Angeles. You couldn't even show up with just like a gift from the gas station. Yeah, I did. It's just in the car, in the mail. It's in the mail from China. It'll be here in a week. <laughs> It'll be four four to six weeks. Checks in the mail. So disappointing. You know. <laughs> but anyways. Anyway, so yeah, the, the first first lap of the race was actually entertaining, yeah. but then after that it was just kind of a snooze fest. Although there were some pretty good low mid-pack battles going yeah. on. 
Yeah. Watching that's... Alonzo trying to get around the yeah. uh, the freaking Saubers and everything. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Hearing Alonzo yell at the pit wall. Yeah. <laughs> you need to stop talking. Yep. No, oh, classic Raikkonen. <laughs> Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Uh, Anyways, yeah. So I love, we love listening to those. I know. They're the best. <laughs> so next up is the greatest race that has uh, will ever be, and the one I want to go to before I die is Monaco. So. Yes, because we all love a good parade. Yeah, yep. we do. Which, yep. literally, I think, what's the stat? If you, if, like, Pole has won 99% of yeah, those something, races. Yeah. Except like, for last year. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's like barring an act of God. If you, yeah. get, if you get the pole, you're going to win. Or if they call you in for a pit stop <laughs> yeah. that you shouldn't, <laughs> like they did to Hamilton, and then oh, they did to Ricardo. Really? Act of God. Or when you go into, they call you in a pit stop and they're not ready for you. <laughs> yeah. Two years in a row that's happened. So. Like I said, act of God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Or just bad data on your pit wall. Well, you know. This is the same thing. You know, that's basically what we have on the other side is a bunch of data scientists. Anyways, anyways, uh, yeah. So F1, boring. But it was, you know, it was good to take a nap too. Yeah, you know. But yeah. yeah. And then we'll have a more boring one, but with Verstappen in the mix, there's going to be some sweet racks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Monaco. And then they have the first Monegasque. Is that how they say it? Monegasque I... driver in forever. So he's actually born and raised in Monaco in the form born of. Born and raised in attack shelter. Yeah, exactly. So he's like. <laughs> he's not a silver spoon. He is a diamond encrusted platinum spoon. It's That's just some... insane. That somebody is writing off. Yeah. I can't remember his name now. Leclerc. Yeah, Leclerc. It is I, Leclerc. Yeah, Le- La Leclerc. That's his name. Yes. So I'm sure the the Crown Prince Albert, which is literally his <laughs> name. It's for real, Prince Albert, which is he's kind no of a funny term. He's no longer in a can. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's pulling for that guy, but that's not going to happen because he's wow. on a Legi- marker team. <laughs> Legitimize our tech shelter. Yay. <laughs> They won't let no. Americans become citizens anymore. Did you hear this? Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> well, damn. That ruins my retirement plan. I know, right? Dang it. <laughs> I guess I'm take, just going to New Zealand. I was going to take my 13 k and go there, but that's not going to happen. Anyways. <laughs> so that's F1. There we go. Yeah. And that's it for racing. No, oh, hey. <laughs> I mean, there's probably I'm more. Sh- I mean, shotgun through that. Well, I mean, yeah. there was a NASCAR race, but I just didn't bother no, watching. I don't watch I that don't, either. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch NASCAR. No. no, no one cares anymore. As soon as they went to stage racing, it's just like, oh, oh yeah. okay, yeah. cool. And it's a Camaro now going up against the Camry, yeah. which I know is just body shells, right? Because it's yeah, all no. freaking tube chassis. There grossness. is absolutely zero road relevance in NASCAR. No. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what they need to do to bring it back. Is they should use freaking showroom stock with a rolled cage car. Uh-huh. Bring it back to what it was. Yeah, that would be amazing. Really bad. That would suck. It would be so awesome, though. It would I would cool. watch. I would totally watch. I would oh, watch. Yeah. It's I like, would watch. Instead of hitting 200 miles an hour, they're like topping out 110. Yeah. The, I forgot to take the governor off this yeah. Camry. Dang it. <laughs> but my AC works real well. Yeah. <laughs> and in the number 95 tied yeah. Toyota Sienna coming up in 13th oh, place. <laughs> minivan racing. Yes. <laughs> That's the future. Yes. People would totally watch that. I, I, would. I would. I would. Yeah. Like you said, it's tube. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what does this one look like? Yeah, nothing. They all look the same, really. It's just some fiberglass didn't, shell. Yeah. Didn't they mess with the Challenger nose on the body? Well, that's in the. Oh yeah, they. Yeah. Uh, no, they did. Yeah, when Dodge that's actually the, had a program. Okay. They okay. were. Yeah, they were around. But that now, was in the Nationwide series, that's what though. I thought. Was no, that, did they Dodge? make the big no. boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they did. Trotted out for the big boys. I yeah, it was they a went Charger. To a charger. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, but I mean, still. Yeah. No. It. And then it just kind of went away. They're still losing viewership from last I saw. Like, yes. They used to be the greatest like American mm-hmm. sport that was viewed, but they're, they're just shedding and bleeding viewers. So, I mean, they made all these changes to try to keep people entertained, but, you know. Cautions breed cautions, so that's that's what they should just... That should be the tagline for NASCAR <laughs> racing. NASCAR, cautions breed cautions. See that big old wreck. Anyways. Yeah. So who won that NASCAR race? Do we care? We don't. Don't, okay. don't know, don't care, don't even know where it we'll was. We'll just say Joey Logano won. No, I'm just kidding. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm just all I know is mo- all of the racing that happened over the weekend, with the exception of Formula One, happened on Saturday because of Mother's Day. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's why. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no. So that's imagine cool. me waking up bleary-eyed after the drift event. Oh, yeah. On <laughs> Sunday morning, rolling out of bed at the crack of 1030. <laughs> Turning on the TV to find nothing on. You're like, crap. <laughs> ah, back to bed. Um, yeah. Night court reruns. Oh, God, I wish it was night court reruns. Are you kidding me? That'd be amazing. <laughs> I would kill for night court reruns. <laughs> well, then. Yeah. yeah. The, the funny thing is, I, I just looked it up. Joey Logano did win. Did he really? <laughs> Shut up. Are you serious? I called uh, it. Dear God. Yes. The only reason why I know him is because I saw uh, Fast and Loud, and he was on the show. Yeah. Oh, he was. What did they build for him? Um, I think he actually went up against uh, Kyle Busch, oh. and I think uh, Gas Monkey was building a, a, a Ford GT4 
Kyle Busch. Oh. And he went up against, I don't even remember what he was going up against. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, what's his face? Richard Rawlings? Is that the guy? Yeah, that's the guy. He just prints yeah. money. He prints it. Oh, yeah. Seriously, yeah. that guy. I wish I had his yeah. bankroll. He just prints it. Yeah. I mean, I'd buy more jeans that look like that if right? I had his bankroll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, right? Dude, that's what's rocking them. He owns them. But I will give him kudos for buying a wrecked F40 and yeah. like making yeah. that gamble and selling it to. I used to go, uh, who, some Warren Moon bought it. I can't remember. Some football player bought it eventually. But uh, let's, you, let's have it be Warren Moon because I yeah. think that's hilarious for a <laughs> number of reasons. Yeah. It was like the only black F40 in the U.S. because, of course, they repainted it black. Yeah. I mean, none of them ever came black, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, I mean, it wasn't bad looking. No, no I, but, you know, good. it was a it was a budget F40. I yeah. think they sold it for like seven forty or eight, but then yeah. it went to auction, and because they had Gas Monkey attached to the name, it went for stupid money. So. Yeah, it's Anyways. crazy what their car sell for. It's, wow. Yeah. Right place, at the right time. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So, anyways, well, it's all good. Speaking of right place, right time. Did you guys know you can buy a Tesla in Utah now? Thank God for that. <laughs> right. Finally. Yeah. I've lost interest in Tesla. So, <laughs> well, uh, I would always drive by the sad Tesla dealership when yeah. me and my girlfriend would go to pub trivia. And it's just like, ah. Well, to be fair, it was a showroom. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 It was, was an information had, uh, center. It had all the there, plugs. Yeah, it had yeah. all the charging stations. All the superchargers and everything. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Next so, to an abandoned lot. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. So Right by I-80. Yeah, right there. Scenic Gross. part of town. Yeah, Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scenic Very. part of South Salt Lake. Nothing says I'm going to get stabbed quite like that. Please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't there a tracks rail line that goes by it, too? Yeah. A little further north? Uh, is it There's, the tracks or is it that stupid oh, trolley? No, thing? it's the it's trolley. A little it is rapid the trolley. transit trolley. Thing. Oh, there's yeah, a tra- I've never seen thing. it. That's amazing. Yeah, I've yeah, never no. seen it either. Oh, it's dumb. I thought it was tracks. <laughs> it's it's super dumb. Is it know? like literally a kids train from like the baseball? You know, it would be the, sweet. The if train. <laughs> it would be sweet if that was it. But no, it's like a more rounded track train, and it only goes like ten blocks. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, good lord. Jeez. Yeah, like about six miles an hour. Tax dollars at work, right there. Exactly. Funny side note: I remember partying at a friend's house down the street from that and being pissed drunk as well as everybody else and running full sprint to get onto this train because we thought it was leaving, getting on it, and then sitting on this immobile train for 10 minutes before it finally <laughs> left. Nice. And you could have run there faster. I could have. Yeah. yeah. You could have you could have beaten the train. I could have. But, of you course, could've... you were drunk, so it would have been like it would have taken you 20 minutes because you would have <laughs> just been won... swerving everywhere. You could have won a 19th century gentleman's bet. Oh, yes. You good, sir. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways. But, yeah, uh, you can buy a Tesla. And, ironically, yes. there's a woman mm-hmm. in, was it Utah County or here in Salt Lake County that rear-ended the fire engine while using the uh, yeah. automated. Yes. Going <laughs> 60 miles an hour. The autopilot that's not really yeah. autopilot. So she can now buy her new one yeah. at the dealership. She doesn't have yes. to jump through a bunch of hoops. After her broken ankle heels, which is pretty amazing, actually. Yeah. You know, you're going 60 miles an hour and you hit a freaking fire engine and all yeah. you break is your ankle. Probably should be looking How at the road, though. How do you not see that? Well, I she mean, had it on autopilot, so they have that so semi-autonomous she, so driver. Yeah, you don't have to pay attention. Okay. There you go. Yeah, but it didn't see the fire truck, no. which, you yeah. know, standard exactly. procedure. You don't need to see those things anyways, and then just yeah. plow right into it at 60. Yeah, <laughs> good times. But anyway, Utah. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, so Absolutely. Uh, yeah. you can buy a Tesla thanks to the passage of House Bill 369. Yay. There we go. So, Government. So- Yep. So somebody else finally paid more than Larry H. Miller's group. To, Correct. To I'm, I'm, to I'm going to say it's, yeah, it's probably well, it. Miller, so, Strong, well, Dally. So here's what it is. It's just a series of amendments to the dealership thing. So right. basically it says that um, Tesla and other car makers of electric or hydrogen-powered vehicles. Oh, uh, there's the caveat. Yeah. Yep. Lame. So that's really it. Can so it, Vanderhall still can't sell anything no, here locally. No, they can't that's, sell direct. Yeah, unless yeah. they well, do. No. Can they? Was hybrid fall into that? caveat or is it just well, electric only vanderhall does have an electric, electric vehicle. vehicle yeah, yeah. Electric or hydrogen yeah only. i just noticed that so. the other day it's, it's the edison which yeah. is funny to me because that's what i call stolen teslas yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> well done dave hey oh dad joke of the night provided by the professor <laughs> thank you there we go beautiful you. that's funny <laughs> yeah so i mean that's nice we like, should all go down there and test drive one <laughs> you can, you can I think they literally only now. they only have one, so we'll have to take turns. But like, <laughs> if they had seven, that'd be awesome. But we just, just all hop in a Model X. And yeah, yeah, there we go. That. Yeah, Model Xs are yeah. really nice. Yeah. I would just make it do the the show with the doors and the lights. Have you seen that? It has yeah. that Christmas yeah. hack on there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. Anyways, <laughs> this is why this is why we can't like, have nice things. No, yeah, no. Are they like other every other fancy dealership where they you have to have like a certain amount in your bank account before you can even sit in it? Oh yeah, I think no we. 
They have like a scanner that actually scans you for wealth as you walk in. Walk in. It's like, I was going to shines- say, if that's the case, I can't even afford to fart in a UTA bus. Hey. Yeah. Well, me, me and Dave come walking up. The dude, the dude looks out, and we're just throwing like half-empty 40s over the back yeah. fence. Like, hello. So, we're here to test drive your vehicle. And he just immediately tases you. <laughs> just, just Taser hand. provided by Tesla Corporation. I'm just kidding. Anyways. They are doing no, the flame Damn. Work. Yeah. But Elon. that's not our only uh, bit of uh, Tesla-related news. Uh-oh. You knew. Uh, Elon so Musk is crazy, he, as we all know. He's yeah. fallen off the deep end. Yes. Like I said, he, worse and worse. he is a small private island mm-hmm. and maybe a collection of dinosaurs mm-hmm. away from being a supervillain. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he has the Lotus. Oh, yes, awesome. from, from, from Bond. Yeah, from he the does, Bond movie. Yeah. He's See? making flamethrowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boring company. He, he is Tony know. Stark with a horrible accent. Yeah. And, so, and far less sex appeal. He, Let's be real. He literally needs just some sort of island and henchmen in oddly matching jumpsuits. Well, and he's the. He's the I have a feeling he probably already has the henchmen in jumpsuits. Yeah, Ooh, yeah probably. I think so. We gotta move does that he have thing a off. catchphrase, though? Like a villain catchphrase? I, I mean, mm-hmm. he, he, he does. A, it's he probably not a in a language or a that we know. <laughs> <laughs> and all this for ju- for inventing PayPal. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And then yeah. shooting stuff into space with, you know, some <laughs> decent success. Yeah. Well, yeah. And a car. <laughs> Can you can you imagine like walking out to the employee parking lot after that momentous day and being like, ah, "This is great. I'm just gonna go home and relax, hitch your key fob, and then oh, the oh pizza here, yeah, oh, pizza's here. I sent that bad boy into space. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta I saw wait so another. So many little drawings right on Facebook. Yeah, uh, he's like, I gotta wait another thirty years to see it come by the Earth. By then, it'll just be covered in ice and become an actual asteroid. But you know. It'd be That's funny to put like a giant speaker on it, so you're like, yeah, doop, doop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Super bright LEDs. Yeah. So it's like, up, oh, there's the flash. Got it. It's locked. <laughs> yeah, that's my OCD. Whenever I walk away from my car, I have to hit it twice. You know, it's like, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I'm good. So, so I'm sure. The good thing about a Ford, you just press eight and nine together, and, and it, it locks. locks everything. Oh wow! And then you have the keypad to get in if you forget your key. Really? Oh, yeah. Beep, 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 good luck remember, remember that code. Yeah, I, no, I'm not. <laughs> I would never. They're still using that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a popular it, thing. Yeah, actually. Yeah, they actually, actually brought it back, I thought. Yep. They took it away, but people were like, I miss it. Yeah, we yeah. got rid of it, yeah. and then we got put it back. It's pretty funny. Yeah, the old man has it on his 14 EcoBoost. He yeah. loves it. <laughs> My mother-in-law. He keeps forgetting his keys in the console. <laughs> yeah. My mother-in-law had a... Stupid little thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. She had a sport track, and she did that all the time. She'd leave the keys in the middle, but lock it. And she did, they got an FJ, a Toyota FJ afterwards, <laughs> and she would like leave the keys and then lock it every time. So she'd call me to have to come break in and get it, but... <laughs> She's and F- FJs are kind of hard to jimmy open. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was fun. It was a challenge. Yeah. I'd like Definitely to know how you know that. Oh. <laughs> don't don't ask questions That's you don't want the answer. The Just watch where you park your FJ around the professor, <laughs> around Dave. That's what we're learning. No, I actually I actually like the Forerunner and the Sequoia way more than the FJ Cruiser. I just really like that the FJ has three wipers. Right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that is cool. Worthless wipers. <clears throat> but I hate that you sit literally in the middle and can't see anything of the car itself. That's yeah, yeah it drives me nuts. But I mean, I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah, I would take one if given. You know. Yeah. When, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Probably, probably never buy one. But, you know. So the point of that that tangent is yeah. that Elon Musk, oh yeah, the greatest Ponzi <laughs> scheme yeah. in the world, yeah. <laughs> he he has set some production goals uh, that he hasn't been able to attain. That's like well, his I mean, track pretty record. lofty. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. model in general was like, it the, uh, the the model X. Sorry, no, S X. The model three. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, S three X. Right. Yes. Anywho, <laughs> um, so yeah, he was trying to ramp up. What was it? Six thousand. Um, so he was trying to hit like twenty five hundred a week. Right. Okay, that's what it was. Uh, and he had to do twenty four seven shifts to try and make that happen. Right. But now and so, he's trying to get five thousand. Oh. Um, or five thousand a week, or wow. is it a month? I can't remember. I I, it say it, it, it was something like that. Yeah. But now he's going even farther off the deep end. Yes. And he is, even though he doesn't know when or how he's going to launch the new Model Y crossover. He has said that he will be making it within 24 months. I, mean, I think it was 18 months. It was well, that's like, simply uh, because he needs the money. 2019. <laughs> See, that's how he funds all of his businesses. It's like, oh, crap, we're running out of money. Create a new model and we'll yeah. pre-sell it and right. not build it. Yes. Yeah, right. he's totally doing I have a question. Why do we need another crossover? <laughs> yeah, we don't. Because don't. that's where the money People is. People are buying that. Tragically. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the bad It's problem. unfortunate. Well, that and trucks. I mean, you know. Yep. Every, well, I mean, everybody yeah. needs a hey, truck. I resemble that statement. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yes. 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 Well, yeah, no, I mean, there's a reason that Ford's axing the Focus and the Fusion. 
More than that. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. getting rid of everything yeah. except for the Mustang. Yeah. You pretty yeah. much can buy SUVs, crossovers, and trucks. And a Mustang. And a Mustang. And, Mustang. and, a Mustang. and that's it. Wow. Yeah. Which, I, I mean, I missed that. There's not a whole lot wrong with that, I guess. Oops. No. I don't know. I wasn't a particularly big fan of the Fusion. I mean, I liked the Fusion. The Fusion was okay. Was like I don't it. like what it currently is. I liked it in its previous generations. I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. I like that. the new ones. They look like little Aston Martin sedans. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, I couldn't afford an Aston Martin, but I got a Fusion. So <laughs> I, I, I did notice, I don't know if yeah. this bothers you guys, but the rear window of the Fusion is the same rear window in the Mustang. Oh, it is actually the same part number. Yeah. Really? Are you yeah. Kidding? Wow. Like I saw it in traffic and was like, eh, that looks oddly familiar. <laughs> it's a Mustang. And then I saw one next to another and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's amazing. I never knew that. Uh, it it so, was like a bet. It's like, yeah, I be. bet we can. Can you be. fit this? Make it fit. Yeah. So, somebody's like, hey, how many fusion parts do you think I put in that Mustang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the answer is 73. Yes. So, uh, so anywho. Uh, so didn't Elon Musk move? Like, isn't he living on the production line of the Model 3? Like, he moved in there and was camping out until I mean, they would, hit their goals. It would make a lot of sense if he were doing that. Yeah. You know, that's what I I'm heard. pretty he sure doing. he moved into the Bat Cave. Yeah, well, he's <laughs> he's been in there forever. But, he yeah. loves his press releases. He does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He loves and his press Twitter. releases and his very, very and his Twitter. tense phone calls. Almost yes. as much as our president. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. oh, he no like, need to make it political. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, so a, I guess there's no more space right now in the Fremont Assembly Plant. Uh, so that's a big facility. N- that's yeah, huge. that's pretty massive. massive. Yeah. So nobody even knows where the Model Y is going to be built. <laughs> so, so much but like everything con- that these Silicon Valley <laughs> yeah. dudes yeah. just seeking venture capital money, right? It's just an idea on paper, sort of. Well, they're publicly traded now, so I mean, he just wants that investment, that stock market oh. tick to go up yes. a little bit. But he's promising to make a bunch of them <clears throat> by right. the end of 2019. And I think his mouth is continually writing checks his employees can't cash. So yes. Yes. we'll see how that it goes. Is. Those poor that's, employees. That's starting to sound kind of familiar. Uh, Paul Elio, anybody? Oh. No. No. How are we doing? Hey. Damn. Zay Sorry, I'm an Elio that. fan, too, so that kind of hurt <laughs> to say. But. Hey, they just create a partnership with Overstock. Yeah, Overstock.com, and now there's cryptocurrency going on with that. Yeah, like, there's some wow. shady just, shenanigans wow. going on that's, with the little people's oh car that as still vaporware as of it yet. seems like that's the desperate move when yeah. you're when an IPO doesn't raise you enough money let's just start a cryptocurrency yeah because oh, that's geez. totally legit yeah that's a stable platform of I monetary. mean I, I I put two hundred dollars in dogecoin oh there you go nice I, I made good money off of that I'm just throwing it out there <laughs> well it was done. a joke so. and it made <laughs> millions overnight <laughs> nice <laughs> The so key, let's the key say is to just get in and then get out. Yeah, exactly. Yes. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You make your money in your yeah. own. That's Bitcoin. Yeah. So no Tesla's reason. not desperate yet, but within the next year, they launch their own cryptocurrency. Yep. Who, who's going to? I, I, I think I'll call. I'll buy a Tesla yeah. coin. I'm I don't on, even give a shit. Yeah, I'm <laughs> on that. I'm on that boat. I just want like a physical Tesla coin. Like you can, like yeah. people yes. get you a physical yeah. Bitcoin. Yep. Like I just want one, just to be like, yes. And this is when society began yeah. to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Guys, look, I've got a whole handful of Tesla coins, dude. That's from Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll be made. Oh of... wow, supersonic car wash tokens. Where'd you yeah. get these? <laughs> it'll be made of the palladium from all the cats of the cars that they never used cats in. You know, it'll just be yeah. like, oh, there you go. As we're sitting around the dumpster fire in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, <laughs> yes. playing pogs with Tesla with our coins. Tesla coins. <laughs> yes, freaking pogs. Oh my gosh. Tape three of those things together anyways got a slammer yeah <laughs> what you know about that <laughs> you are old, old enough pogs. for that i, I mean, was yeah that, I, everybody here's old i was actually yeah, older than that that yeah. came a generation younger than me and i was just like what is this yeah. what are people playing with freaking bottle caps for what the f- <laughs> <laughs> because actually, many they, a fun was had because yeah. they were cool dad they look cool Word. It, all, it all comes full circle. Yeah, yeah. It's like when my age was like marbles. It was like, yeah, you played with freaking marbles. You got your slammer. You got all that stuff. You got your grand, whatever they called it. Yeah, Just right there with your hoop on a stick. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not old enough for hoop on a stick. But yeah, I played marbles and pogs. Oh, there you go. So yeah. I tell my kids about them. They look at me like I'm ancient. I never <laughs> yeah. did the marble thing. Oh never, yeah. Never yeah when you marbles. say marbles, they're like, "What app is that, yeah, Dad?" Is, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do, That's do all you have yeah. that in the Apple app. Yeah. Where do I? Yeah. No, it's. Yeah, it's fun talking to these kids about stuff that we used to do, yeah. and then just getting looked at like you're insane. Yeah. Kids, has yes. Grandpa ever told you about ball in a cup? Yeah. <laughs> it's ball the most the fun you can have with ball in a cup with a ball in a cup. <laughs> you put the ball in the cup. It's ball in a cup. Ball in a cup. By yeah. Hasbro. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Anyways, all righty. I was busy so, getting pizza. Did we just? Or have we? So we covered the Tesla. We, we covered the Ponzi scheme that he continues to run. We covered the Model Y. Is that what they're calling it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, TLDR here on this one. Uh, the Model Y. Uh, the site location. Uh, TBD. Q, TBD. Q3 2018. They're oh, going to wow. announce it. Wow. All Utah. Right. It's coming to Utah. <laughs> Tight. That's what we okay. could only be so lucky. We like to give tax breaks to companies like that for no reason. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, anywho. But speaking of kids and pogs Uh-oh. and things that are no longer relevant. Right. Uh, kids now apparently are going to text and drive. They're just going to. That's yeah. what they, yeah. they, they can't plan to do. Pull their faces out of their freaking phones. No. But and you have a teenage daughter. Yeah, you so do. I do. You. You're on the yes. cusp of you that. You know this. Yes. You see it. You yes. live it. Unfortunately. Does she uh, have her license? No, she's good. Sweet Moses, keep that that way. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm sure she's a great driver. She, she does have interest in driving. She, yes, she knows how to drive stick. Yes, I made sure to teach oh, her. Oh, that's awesome. Very good good now, for you. you know, we got to keep her locked away, though. I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure Gwen Stefani wrote a song about this. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. No, Seriously, no. I'm Jesus just a girl. Christ! I'm just a girl. Thank you. Yeah, oh, I know okay. where you're going. Okay. With Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know the song. I'm just a girl. Yeah. The reference. Yeah. 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 Don't let me stay out at night. I'm just a girl. Right. I don't know the rest. Yeah, of, I don't know the rest yeah, of the lyrics. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I just know far too many nineties. Gwen Stefani's right there with Pogs, though. Oh, apparently, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I had a I had Pogs and I had a Gwen Stefani poster at the same time in my life. There you go. I've got a couple. I've got a couple teenage drivers. They're doing pretty good nice. as far yeah. as not uh, texting, and they both know stick. And good. Okay. good. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to pay them to not text and drive. See, not at all. Both of good. those are nice. are like dying arts right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Distracted driving and driving anything other than a slush box. Man, you are doing good, Dwayne. Yeah. You're doing good, yes. man. <laughs> but no, there's there's actually a story out now where they're they're thinking they're going to have to pay kids. To not text and drive. So it'll be the like new they're form. Gonna, they're basically going to gamify it to try and keep kids from texting and driving. Wow. So Which it, is ridiculous. I, I have a feeling somebody created an app for this. Oh, it's going to make and a it's, ton of they're, money. They're going to make billions. Just take a percentage of it. Every, well, of course. Every why every should the parents not parent? You know? Yeah. Exactly. If there's an app for it. I yeah. mean, hey, yeah. Mother's Day, shout out to the iPad raising your kids. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. So mine's just a first gen, poor thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> just kidding. Well, somehow yeah. rougher than others. No, I know, yeah. Mm. But it, it, I went outside when I was a child. Yeah, me too. Played until the lights went out, and then longer. And then when you hear your dad whistle, you know you're in trouble. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's another one of those that kids are like, well, you played outside all day? Yeah, what'd you do? Yeah, what, yeah. what, what is there to do? You play sardines, you play freaking tag, you play guns. Like, you can't <laughs> play guns anymore, you'll get shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then as you got older, you know, you became, well, in my case, you became acquainted with, you know, local law enforcement. Yeah. Because you were doing some things. Yes. You know. Climbing billboards, urinating off of overpasses. Good stuff. Hopping, you know, it's kid stuff. <laughs> hopping fences, taking a cutoff wheel to knobs on rails. That's what we used fun. to do. <laughs> We found a you tailgate know. from a Ford Ranger sitting in the middle of the road, 27th West and 72nd <laughs> South. We're in high school, and my buddy had a Ford Ranger, ironically. We're like, what do we do with it? And so we had some ski rope, uh, some water skiing rope in the truck. So we're like, someone sit on the <laughs> sit on the tailgate. Let's pull you around the streets. Mother so of we, God. It burned through the tailgate, so we had to go get a cushion from our buddy's outdoor chair. It burned through that, too, but like we were just dragging each other around all over West Jordan <laughs> at 2 a.m. Loud right. as all hell, sparks everywhere, so much fun though. Good God. Perf- Not very safe. That's perfection right there. Yeah. Bring oh, yeah. that back. Not very safe. Yeah. We called it tailgating. <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't really didn't really pick up because it's kinda of hard to find tailgates, you know? Yeah, that's so, not anyways. exactly a commodity you just come across. Yeah. And, and they're be- making chairs out of them, right? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Jeez, yeah. Anyways. Kids. You say I will donate a Dotson tailgate for that. There you go. Like, yes. It's still yes. in my garage. Yes. I want your Dotson tailgate for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, purpose. maybe not because I don't want to destroy that. That's pretty awesome. It's okay. The Dotson's already been cut out of it. Oh, so okay. I was going to say. There you go. Yeah. There. Next it's, it's, next week on Cam- on, Cam- <laughs> on Camado, we're going to do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Yeah. We'll live, do video on Facebook that. Facebook Live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> live feed. You Watch know? Pizza Dad catch on fire while riding a tailgate <laughs> <laughs> that also catches on fire right before it gets hit by a Tesla. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, so but apparently for as little as five bucks a week, kids are willing to put their phone down. So which, this is the new allowance. Is this what it is? It's like, hey, don't do chores. Just don't be an idiot on your phone, and I'll pay you. That's I'm pay my that son to mow my lawn. That is sad. five bucks a week to do that. My so. son's three <laughs> years old, and I'm, I'm I'm making him mow the lawn without paying him right now. Yep. Nice. Not doesn't not not going very well. No, <laughs> you gotta. He you, doesn't quite understand does the concept the, of blades. You've got to wait. Fisher Price bubble? Did you? No, I gave him the Husqvarna. No, he's, okay. he's using he's the three horsepower Husqvarna. He's in there. He's in it to win it. 
You've got to wait Just kidding. until they have some basic understanding. Ah, he gets it. All right, good. It's a quick lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't put your hand under here and go. <laughs> or your only foot. put it under there one time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's all it takes. Anyway, no, I'm just three kidding. toes on that. Foot? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they can pull the the rope to yep. start it, they're good to go. Can, yep, hey, that's, that's not true. I've they got, got they got push yep. button start. I've got a push yeah. button start. Yeah, mine's zero, wow. zero. Zero. I can't pull the luxury. Though. No, mine's still a puller. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you have to supervise that though, because Dad, oh, yeah. have to, I have to have you turn it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Start, I used to do that. That's it. I'd start it up and then walk away and let them yeah. Yeah. go. Do you, do you make him change the bag, too, or is it just mulch? Yeah, know? no, he, 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 he's not quite strong enough for the bag yet. Okay. <laughs> so I put him in the bag. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> wow. No. no, he's not He's not quite there. Well, I mean, keep but. in mind, guys, we've got we've got electric lawnmowers and trimmers. I know. Yeah. And, like, autonomous, self-learning, whatever freaking robot. It's it's yeah. a Roomba for, for the backyard. Yeah, there is a Roomba, a, basically, for, I think, for lawnmowers. Yeah, I think a Roomba company, with a lawnmower blade. That's yeah. great. <laughs> I think the company that's making them is called Skynet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Terminator <laughs> reference, anybody? Terminator? I'm no? just okay. waiting for Milwaukee so I can just use my tools from work in it. Yes. Yeah, there you we're go. good. There it is. That's <laughs> awesome. Get my solved. M18 battery. Just uh-huh. There you yep. go. Exactly. Charge, it, charge it and go. The big question is what are we going to do with all that spare time, right? With the yeah, machines no doing this? We're going to build no more cars. Maybe Honestly. We finish a rotary. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's a challenge. That's, now I hear you have a couple too. Rotor, rotary powered lawn Roomba. Roomba. There we go. That's yeah. a million dollar. It'll yeah. never run. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it'll sound good when it does though. <laughs> it will. It'll be a screamer, but then it'll stop for those yeah. twenty minutes. It's going to be real <laughs> yeah. sweet. It's be yeah. Best ha- honey, what's the lawn Roomba doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's just a three rotor, four rotor. Yeah. No, just kidding. Four rotor. As Jesus. long as it's just bridge port idling, I'm great. Uh-huh. There we go. How many rotors it's got? <laughs> <laughs> I idled the lawnmower right the the too long, and he replaced the seals again. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The warranty is garbage on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come with warranty. When the guy sold it to me, he, had, he told me I had to mow like an asshole at least once a week. I don't oh, know yeah, what he's talking about. you got to open it up every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's got to be at 7,000 RPM. It's, it's, it's just that, that one guy, like, Friday, 6 p.m., it's raining, and he's, like, buzzing through nine different <laughs> yeah. backyards just so we could go home. Yeah. Hey, Steve, you need your lawn mowed? <laughs> well, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, is anyway. it bad the salesman laughed at me when I bought the rotary lawnmower? I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so coming back to this, uh, researchers actually examined data from an online survey of 152 teens uh, who have smartphones, uh, and they admitted to texting and driving. Obviously, uh, and so all of them, 152, all, all every 100%. 152. Mm-hmm. Lovely. That's great. <laughs> yeah. um, of this. Uh, Ninety percent said they're willing to give up reading text while driving. Ninety-five percent would consider no longer sending text, and ninety-nine percent say they might stay off social media for financial gain. Uh, might. It's financial yeah, I ain't paying gain. you for a might. No, yeah, <laughs> nah. yeah, that, that, nah. that, so that issue's on lockdown. If I'm giving you money, that's for sure. Yeah. How about calling How about somebody no on Bluetooth? Your life is maybe. Worth more yeah. Than yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got CarPlay life. now. You can text and drive. Or just <laughs> exactly. Keep, keep so maybe you're the same up. age as me, but like in middle school when I liked a girl, we didn't. There was no texting. You had to get their phone number and mm-hmm. actually call, actually them, call them, them and have a conversation. I and used then, to carry quarters, man. It was. I was like yeah. so nervous. I was like, "Hey, Jill, what's that? how you?" Do? And, and then you just like throw up on the phone, you know. And then, <laughs> and then you would freak out if Dad answered the phone. Oh yeah, exactly. Hey, is your daughter there? <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. you just please answer the phone. Please answer. <laughs> Please just, yeah, please like just our generation was the perfect generation where like cold calling sales offices. You know, it's like, oh hey, these guys are used to talking to people in the phone. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. They're used to rejection via phone. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's character. Yeah. To, to date me, I called my wife from a home phone. Yeah. See, that's what I was, I was talking about. Her. Landline. Yes. Landline. Yeah. Back in the day. My yeah. Kids don't know what home phones are. Yeah. No, see? they don't. It's so crazy. Kids these days are all about that hotline bling. <laughs> they don't. They don't know what landline <laughs> means. Dwayne yeah. and Jacob are looking over at me whenever I like chime in. I'm 32. I had a landline. I had 28. I remember a lot of these things. I'm old. I'm 48. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, I go not, way just, back. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm catching up to you. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting there. I actually remember like the internet being on the same line as your phone. So yeah. You pick it up, be like, oh, crap. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <hang> <laughs> <up>. I got to <laughs> surf the net. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't think yep. my kids have the patience to wait for that internet. Oh, no. Oh, they would have died yeah. if they had our, you've got yeah. mail. <laughs> 
Why? Where? It was a great day when you got the 500 free hours from AOL. Oh, my gosh. Mail. And the episode, <laughs> plug mail. that sucker yeah. in. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, the internet literally had to send you something via USPS before you could use the internet. <laughs> oh, my yep. gosh. Amazing. Uh, the good Sometimes. old days. These kids have it so easy these days. It's insane. Uh, that they do. The world is their oyster, and yet they choose to make fun of it on Facebook. Yeah, and Twitter. Mm. Yeah. Hey, you know. Oh, well. Uh, whatever that other one is. Dave, how are we looking on time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got, got about seven minutes left. T right, minus. Seven minutes. Well, we got we got a couple more stories we can breeze through here. All right. So, speaking of kids. Um, Talking to the microphone. Uh, <coughs> Use your microphone voice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, attaboy. So, it's amazing what happens when you Trent speak from, into the thing. Trip from Sandy. I, I missed that. Thank you, Dad. You're I welcome. <laughs> I don't know if it translated. I kind of put it back like, too far. That might have been for the best. Your face is for so, the best. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Continuing with the kid theme, cars that we loved as a kid. 87 Acura, Z. Oh, sorry. Acura Integra Type R. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 I saw this. Mm-hmm. There's one li- currently listed for sale for forty four thousand nine hundred dollars. Forty four nine. I'm sorry, I thought you said forty four thousand. Yeah, yeah, yes. correct. Yes, I did. Not forty four hundred. <laughs> no, forty four thousand nine hundred dollars. How many miles are on this? Nine, one? That's it's just ninety seven. Uh, number thirty five of three hundred and twenty. It has fourteen thousand four hundred and twenty three miles on it. Because one of okay. one one just went championship on, white. Yeah, one just went on bring a trailer yeah. and just closed. And I think it went for sixteen thousand. Yeah. The, no. So they can top out um, about thirty thousand max on bring a trailer. <sighs> yes. But for someone and just to decide to throw it up there for forty four nine. So I'm assuming this is an unmolested. This is an original. unmolested bone unmolested, stock yep. ninety seven championship oh, white. That is mm-hmm. sexy. Yeah. The best handling front wheel drive car ever made. It's good looking, but there's no it way is. you're getting me to pay that much money for yeah. one. No. And I'm, I'm a <laughs> euro. I'm a euro guy. New. I'm a GTI guy to the death, and that is the best, ha- best so, handling front wheel drive car I've ever. So. Driven. For reference, the adjusted for inflation, a Integra Type R sold for thirty six thousand dollars. New, new, <laughs> yes. yes. Wow, back so, in ninety nine or whatever year this one is. Ninety seven, ninety seven. I mean, they're pretty, but forty four. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, nostalgia. Uh, the cars uh, you guys have right now, I kid you not, your FC. Oh yeah, just hang on to that baby. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I remember it. It doesn't have a subframe. It <laughs> <move>. <laughs> that's I re- a good reason. I remember <laughs> selling my Turbo FC the week. That Tokyo Drift came out uh, for three yeah. times what I paid for it. Damn. Nice. Yeah. There it is. Good job. Yeah. Ride that wave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then I couldn't afford any of them after that. There you yeah, go. literally. Yeah. <laughs> for real. See, I'm stupid. I get cars and I just keep them forever. Yeah, see, I'm the same way. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I tried that, and then I started stacking them on top of each other. It didn't work out. <laughs> well, yeah, when you get in the teens and then the 20s, then it's... I sold five cars in the last I'm three I'm proud years. of you. I, I saw that. Insane. That is I saw impressive. That. You know who's selling cars that is, like, tempting me? Danny. Danny White. He's, like, yeah. offloading a lot of his collection right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. He's got an E60 M5 up for yeah. sale. He yeah. has a freaking beautiful 7 Series from the 80s. Oh, I'm so seven tempted. Seven a manual swap. Nice. Yeah, a manual series. swapped. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's clean. Ooh, 735. Did you ever yeah. get to see his uh, M3 conversion? I did, yeah. Was yeah. Very that, sexy. He bought it back. I don't know if you heard that. I know. I yeah, he, know. he sold it to a kid who sold it to a kid, and then he bought it back after his divorce. And, and yeah, he's he had it for a little while, but then sold it again. And then I think he bought it back again. I don't know. Danny goes through like uh, yeah. ten cars a year, yeah. I think, or something like that. He uh, he tried. He gave it a shot at the JDM. Well, oh yeah, you know Japanese cars. He, yeah, uh, he actually when he moved to, from California here, he had a two forty. Oh huh. really? With a SR swap. Oh there you I go. Ooh. Bought that swap, which is now part of my Corolla swap. Oh there you go. Whoa, nice. So it was. He he gave it a shot. He did. That's a good car to shoot and to give it a shot yeah. at. Right there. Back mm-hmm. when I'd they were that. affordable. It's yeah. true. it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before the drift tax or whatever they call it now. Yep. Yeah, there 6K it is. 6K OBO, hammered single cam. I know what I got. I know what I got. <laughs> yeah. I know what I got. Well, the diff, blown struts. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Clean one owner. Wow, dude, you're talking about my GS300 now. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love that body style, by the way. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah, that one. I That's, love it. The taillights on that? Yeah. Ooh. Money. Yeah. Kind of, same kind of, thing. Of, the back end yeah. looks so good. I'm looking at yeah. Aristo tails for that thing soon. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Attaboy. Yeah. Nice. One of the many things. Yeah, and then just like a three-inch exhaust tip on each side. It's got two of them. Bingo. It's going to look super tight. Money. Indeed. Anywho, nope. so and then more low, yes, yes, all the yes. lows. So, oh, um, <laughs> those cars, those cars cannot stay high. They gotta be. No, no they, they gotta, gotta be. be you gotta, gotta tank them. Yeah. You yes. gotta slam those suckers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But old, old something, day. something even more expensive than drift tax is Pope tax. 
Oh, apparently. yeah. Oh. There oh is. yeah, especially gift. Then you got to wave yeah, gifts like to the Pope whenever you drive it. There was know. there was a Lamborghini Huracan <laughs> gifted to the Pope, yeah. and he like touched it. Uh huh. And now they've resold it for charity. That's rare. He and rarely no. sells his gift cars. He mm-hmm. has an F forty sitting below the Vatican. The last one off the line was given to the Pope. Wow. Second to last one lives here in Utah. Ooh. Don't know if you knew that. Wow. Yeah. Well. Now cool. I now the yeah, last publicly available F forty lives in Utah and it has less than seven thousand miles. It's insane. Well, that's, anyway. that's, yeah. that's sad. Yeah, but uh, this Lamborghini Huracan base rear wheel drive, nothing too exciting except it did have a fancy paint job. Right. Ended up selling for eight hundred and fifty thousand. Holy crap! So like three so, times sticker yeah. price on that yep. almost. God. Holy Moses! I think three. I think four times because the base rear wheel drive ones are right around two. But if you think about the standard oh, Lamborghini change. owner, Two. right? Yeah. They're always like ten tenths whenever they drive anywhere mm-hmm. in their Lamborghini. So he's like, at least this car is blessed by the Pope, so I'm good. I can yeah. do anything. Yeah. That's a red light. I don't care. I'm blessed. <laughs> Boom. I'm going through. And away we go. <laughs> it's still solid logic. That would and, save you a lot of money on tickets. Yeah. yeah. It'll still be ripped in half, but yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I don't need to insure this thing. Nothing's going to no. happen to it. Yeah, the, I wonder if you're going to negotiate insurance car. with that. Yeah. And the Pope touched the Pope. it. So, yeah. I mean, it makes me wonder good. if that's covered under an act of God policy. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, dear God. But you're just bringing the dad jokes tonight. <laughs> just making me hey, I think. Somebody's oh, got to step minute. in for weekend dad when he's not here. I don't even have good dad jokes either, so I don't know why you guys call me We're all dads on this side, so. Yeah, yeah. We're finding them. Yeah, me too. Amazing. So yeah. this the the L shape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, last that's time, like, last time I was here, I was the only dad that was here. But that, now, no. what? Now with the dads, oh, you need to be sitting on the other side yeah. of the table. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, there's this not is enough the dad side. Yeah, dad side. Okay, there's not enough real estate over there, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> join the join the dad side. He already. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Before we get too far into this, let's, anywho, let's land this thing. Yeah. Bring you, it into port. You, you mean you mean dredge it. From the bottom, <laughs> episode two. Try to right? recover as we much. Second that? show. Well, second in, show. Second. Yeah, show. In, in, in a minute we got to close this one out. Oh, I'm going to eat a pizza in the uh, meantime. Right? Okay, yeah, you do that. <laughs> go ahead and do that. So go ahead and hit us up on all of our various social media accounts. We're at Cam Automag on all of them. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. at, you can write into us. Mailbag at camautomag.com. Yes. Try it out real quick, Brandon. Mailbag at camautomag.com. Holy shit. Yay. There we go. Oh, so close. I kind of had like cam, a Midwestern yeah. accent cam, in there. I don't know if you heard right. that. Camautomag.com. Hey, hey, Ozer, try that at Cam Automag bag, eh? <laughs> we'll count it. Take off, eh? All righty. But hey, you still Ozer. from the Great White North there. Yeah, then you know went, you know. Take off. Can, Canadian, eh? <laughs> okay, you can turn, you can turn me off. Automag. All right. <laughs> righty. Well, uh, until Thursday or in about 10 minutes for those in the room. Theater of the mind, time travel, so on and so forth. Et cetera, et cetera. Yes, we'll be back. We're going to talk to our three lovely guests about their car history, F-40. Garage Kyush itself, the Matsuri, and then we're going to dive into the tire fire that is what Question defines a classic car. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, guys. That's coming out Thursday. Yep. yep. I've right. been Mike. I've been Dave. I've been Trent. I've been Dad. <laughs> that was Ninja, dude. And, and we shall return. All right. All right. Thank you. So that happened. Yeah, that that was was fun. (laughs) What the hell?